An Israeli medical team packed up its field hospital in the Nepali capital, Kathmandu, over the weekend after treating emergency cases from the country's deadly April 25th earthquake. The 60-bed field hospital was set up in the Nepali army's compound following the earthquake that killed over 7,900 people and injured more than 16,000. The hospital treated over 1,000 patients during its 10 days of operation. At a small function to mark the closure of the emergency aid facility, a Nepalese government official expressed the country's gratitude to Israel for its help. We express our sincere gratitude to the government of Israel and to the people of Israel for helping us in times of very critical hours in Nepal. The hospital offered operating rooms, imaging facilities, advanced labs and an intensive care section with 150 Israelis taking care of patients. It also had a synagogue and a kosher kitchen. Israel's ambassador to Nepal, Yaron Mayer, said he was optimistic about the nation's future. And I did, I did mention that Nepal is crying and the whole world is crying. But I also said that uh, I'm looking, uh, I'm optimistic for the future and things are now starting to rebuild again. And uh, it will take time, you know, and, and, but I'm sure things will be better and Nepal will be stronger and we'll be united working for these challenges. After the devastating earthquake, piles of rubble still surround damaged buildings in parts of the Nepalese capital. One man whose store was located in the area explained that as the aftershocks following the earthquake continued to hit, some remaining residents chose to move to another location. The houses all the fell down here and it was tremoring there. After shocks, after coming and coming, it came there and people were fighting and they left. Uh, these places which was uh, dangerous and they went to restart to other places. The quake had affected 8 million of Nepal's 28 million people with at least 3 million needing tents, water, food and medicine over the next three months. According to the United Nations, about 519,000 houses have been damaged or destroyed.